Sometimes decision is a very big thing in the life of any human being, not just a Christian, not just a minister, not just a pastor, not just an apostle, not a reverend or any other person. Everybody, your decision can determine your future directly, whether indirectly or directly. But I'm talking about in the scenario where it determines your future directly. There are some and because you could not give in to their ill desires, they are bent on soiling your noble names. Yet, you were undeterred. I thank you for being you, TBJ, my love. You are unique in every sense. That's the man who does not understand the word impossible. He doesn't understand the word impossible. And above all, I thank you for using your life, spending your life on things that will outlive you. We will keep the fire burning. We will keep your dreams alive by God's grace. You are the man I loved. I was proud. And forever, I will be proud to be your wife. You have made it clear to us all that this is the job you are born for. There are some people who will be affected indirectly by your decision as well. And it goes a chain of up to around generations to come. Not only four, five, six. What we are doing now is as a result of options sometimes. So many people you see what they are doing in life is a period of discovery of what they were supposed to do. Are we together in that point? Some of the people are compelled. I can tell you some of people are doctors not because they wanted to be a doctor, because they were forced to study as medicine. But some doctors are supposed to be pastors. That's why even if they are in their super, super, super senior careers, they still find a vacuum in them. And those vacuum are filled in. You find somebody is very, very, very wealthy, but until he sings a song, he's not fulfilled. Until he comes and ministers in church, he's not fulfilled. I didn't say what they are doing is wrong. I'm talking about the decision they make. It takes time to make the right decision and it takes your whole environment to make your whole decision. But in the end, all said and done, your decision will matter in your life. You are unique in every sense. That's the man who does not understand the word impossible. He doesn't understand the word impossible. And above all, I thank you for using your life, spending your life on things that will outlive you. We will keep the fire burning. We will keep your dreams alive by God's grace. You are the man I loved. I was proud. And forever, I will be proud to be your wife. You have made it clear to us all that this is the job you are born for. You are living for. And you will die for. Though you are not dead, I know that. You are not dead. But this you did on your last moment on earth. Your passing was so peaceful. Yes, it was so peaceful. I've crested you forever in my heart. But I know that God Almighty has you for his keeping. So we meet to part no more. Now, there are some people who are not born again, not because they are bad or they are wicked people more than us who are born again. In fact, we are perfected by the grace of God. We are perfected by the cross. 
the perfection we were not perfect even earlier before. For God so loved the whole world and he brought his only son that whoever will believe in him shall not perish but will have eternal life. That's where we are now. So as we believed in the son, Jesus Christ, and he washed us and he gave us direction. And that is the direction we keep following up to now where we are right now. Nothing else works better than a decision for tomorrow. In fact, the power of faith is in the decision area. Am I, I have to decide to believe God is speaking to me about this. And I take steps. It's a decision to make steps. So when you move to the next level of your life and move to another level of your decisions, it depends on the previous decision you made towards a step that you have made now. Noisemakers. That is one other thing I've learned. The second thing I'm learning, the second thing I'm learning is that it doesn't matter whether any bad report is true or not. When you put your trust in God, everything ends for good. Pastor, and this some of you are evangelists by decision. Because if you see how you are called, you can tell me. You had options to do. Some of you had options to be disco attendants. Some of you had options to be sangomas. Some of you had options to be even in the cultic organization. Some of you had options to be in different decisional making kind of uh, misrepresentation. But you made sure, me, I want to cut out from every evil and stand by Christ. And Christ has stood by you. May you receive grace to stand by the decision correctly set by the Holy Spirit in your life. May you receive decision to make everything in your life look like God wanted it to look like. May you make decision to surrender totally to the leading of the Holy Spirit wherever you are. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. See you in the next episode. And this is Timothy Profitable and we are in Blevoy TV. Handle your spirituality, economic and social matters. See you in the next episode.